Hi, my name is Melinda Elmer and I'm with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm here to talk about property taxes and selling a home. Now, I frequently get asked the question about how much in taxes somebody might pay after selling a home or how long do they have to reinvest funds after selling a home. Well, the rules right now are that if you sell a primary residence, you can take up to $500,000 of capital gains tax-free as a married couple or $250,000 as a single person if you lived in the home for two out of the last five years. There's no specific time frame in which you have to reinvest the funds and you can do it every two years if you wish. In Southern California, many people have recently had appreciation greater than 250 or 500,000. So after that point, you would get taxed based on your capital gains tax rates and your accountant can help you figure out that number. Now, one tricky thing is if a spouse had lived in the home and passed away, you will have what's referred to as a step up in basis. So for example, if a property value went up 500,000, but one spouse passed away a year ago, chances are good that there'll be a limited capital gains. However, if they passed away a number of years ago, that may have an effect on capital gains and the step up in basis will be based upon the debt date of their passing. We can help you calculate this as far as the basis, also repairs and improvements to the property can be deducted. Of course, if you think you may have a lot of capital gains, it's a good idea to run all of this by your accountant prior to selling a home. Now, if you're looking at an investment property, that's an entirely different subject. And if you just cash out of an investment property, you will pay capital gains. If you wish to reinvest the funds, you can do what's referred to a 1031 exchange. And this basically defers your capital gains and rolls into another property there are some specific rules about 1031 exchanges, and I'll do a different video covering that topic. If you have any questions about how much capital gains tax you might be paying, if you sell your primary residence, feel free to give us a call and we'll go through it in more detail for you and your specific situation. We can be reached at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends who might benefit from this information.